All right, we will see how to, once we have our tracker or our curriculum map set up, how to be able to not only receive, but also actually administer the assessment for the district interims or benchmarks as they're referred to inside of Mastery Connect. So we're inside of our Canvas course. We're gonna scroll till we find the Mastery Tracker. Now again, we're assuming you've already set this up. Now there isn't the need for you as teachers to be able to locate the assessments. They're gonna be automatically delivered to your tracker. So you can see right here are all of my standards as I go across. And then you'll notice that I see right here, this says benchmark. Now, if you're administering in a grade level that has a rubric where you need to enter scores, it would look something like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and scroll across. And as I scroll across, I can see here's the other benchmark. Now they pop up for the standards that they're related to. And so a couple things, when you are on the benchmark itself, you're gonna see this option as I hover around on the down arrow the option to be able to assess. You need to be able to click on that, but you also have the option to be able to click on the assessment itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter it and it changes my screen and I'm still here and I still see that button assess. Now, if you notice that you have several of one of these different assess options because the benchmark may be covering multiple standards, it doesn't matter which button you click for assess. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Now you'll notice that it shoots out a session ID. Note, because of the fact that we are using this inside of Canvas and because we have kind of already synced up our Canvas course with our tracker, it already says to assess with the LMS. So there isn't anything else I need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and close this now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come over to where I see assignments from my Canvas course. And when I click on that, I'm gonna locate the assignment that I just kind of structured there. So there it is. These are the two different benchmarks. Now I didn't need to do anything for them to be there, but just to note the fact that this is all inside of Canvas. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these. And from here is where you're gonna be able to administer or deliver it to your students. Cause at this point, the tests themselves, the district interims have been received into my course. I need to be able to present them so that students can actually be able to take it if it's something that my students are gonna take on a device. Now, if they're not going to be taking on a device, maybe I'm just administering paper pencil, then I'm gonna be able to record those scores. You don't need to present it to students in terms of assigning it, but you do have to be able to kind of set the ball in motion to be able to create the assessment. So I'm here. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and close this screen that popped up. It does give me some options, but I wanna be able to edit the assignment settings so that it's facing my students. So you could type any directions you'd like here. It already says that it's linked up. The thing that I need to do that's important is to set the due date. Now, if I don't do this, it's not gonna pop up underneath the appropriate grading trimester or grading period. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the same exact due date that I have for the until date. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll with October. 15th and this is just a sample so this is not to say that this is the actual time for our benchmarks go ahead and follow again the until date will already be constructed because the benchmark has been pushed out to you so you're just going to go ahead and copy that and put that here i'm going to go ahead and save and publish get that pop up again but now I have the ability to be able to have my students take that assessment. Now you'll notice a couple things. One that says grade here. If this was something that my students were not necessarily um, taking on the computer or there was constructive responses, I could be able to launch the performance grader. If it's a rubric, then you're gonna need to do this. Cause again, if it's a rubric, let's say for example, or a writing assessment, they're not going to assess on or inside of Canvas, but you are still gonna be able to record the score. So I'm gonna click the launch performance grader. If you don't see that, you hover right around here. Sometimes there'll be a little option for you to click a little button that'll launch performance grader as well. But because it says grade, I'm gonna launch that. This is the interface that I'm given. It will have all of my students on the left-hand side. If there was a document that was uploaded, maybe it's an actual rubric itself. And this is where I would input the score. So let's say for example, it was at a scale of 10. That's the criteria one that's here. I would note whatever score my student received, click score assessment, and then move on to the next student. It's very similar to our speed grader. Go ahead and continue if I was going to do that but you get the idea in terms of what well, this is what it would look like if you are yourself as a teacher scoring. Now, I'm gonna not save this, go ahead and close it. I'm gonna come back to assignments. Again, the assessments themselves on an assignment. You'll see this one I had actually published, okay? And right here, you'll see where it says sync to SIS. I wanna point out the fact that if you, it means that the assessments will go to your 
Aries gradebook if you push over your grades. Now, this other assessment, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one, or actually open it and then edit. Always gonna get this pop up, okay? This one is not something that my students in terms of a rubric are gonna do. This is more rather there are some items. Now, if I needed to manually enter the scores, you can do that here. You also have the option, as I mentioned earlier, right here, you'll see that launch performance grader indication. It's in orange right next to that. You can hover it and click on that. and It'll be brought to the same interface we saw earlier. Now, this is a different type of test. This is not something that I need to score personally. This is an assessment that my students may take online. And if they did take online, it would be auto scored. But you do have the ability to also make changes to the scores themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and click the assess. I do need to do that. Again, it's always gonna give you this demo ID or this uh, test ID. We're gonna ignore that because we're always knowing that it's set up with our LMS. So you see that indication here. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And now when my students log into their Canvas, they're gonna see it inside of assignments. Ah, this assignment hasn't been published yet. They're not gonna see that. What do I need to do? Go in and come back here. Remember, you have to go to edit assignment settings. You can provide any directions here that you want. You notice that it is connected or synced. Here's the important part, as I mentioned earlier, you need to make sure that the until date matches the due date. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll with this. Again, this is not to say this is the actual district due date. This is just a sample because we have constructed the benchmarks for you. You already have well on until. You just need to add the due date for it. I'm gonna save and publish this. And now I can see that both of my assessments or my district benchmarks are published and ready for my students. And we'll take a look in a different video what that looks like from the student perspective.